just came across Austin, so we're gonna see what Austin has going on. Austin, like, tell me, what, what do we have here today? What are you doing here? Well, absolutely, I actually have a shirt that I'm selling. Uh, they're actually, one says agape across the front, which means godly love, and the other one is actually um, called the celebration. And it's a silhouette of a black woman, and it has my poem on the inside of it. And that's actually one of the poems that I'm performing tonight. Oh, that's beautiful. So you're an artist as well. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, my stage name is Agave Poet. Oh, okay. So we're going to see you on stage. Yeah, absolutely. got two pieces that I'm performing. The first one is actually a really personal, extremely deep poem. Uh, it's about growing up with my mother's drug addictions. Um, and then the next one is called The Celebration. It's celebrating the beauty of black women. Because I personally don't think that our society does it enough. So what about the celebration of black women? Can you elaborate a little more on that? Yeah, absolutely. I think that our society is projecting um, light skin, straight hair, or as personally I find dark skin, curly afros to be more beautiful. And I don't think that young girls in our society should be growing up with this projection that pop culture is given. And so I would like to espouse that energy to them. That way the little girls growing up know that they're beautiful naturally. That's a beautiful message. Well, I can't wait to see you on stage. Stay tuned for more of Link Show TV Las Vegas today. So I'll bring you these verses, and that's really just to get your attention, get everyone to be quiet. <laughs> Perfect. I'm agape. Agape means godly love you didn't know. Family member with drug addictions. So if you feel it, you can go, ooh, or ooh, or snap. I like snaps. All right, so we can practice that. I'd say some really deep shit right now. I just said some deep, ooh. I like it. I sometimes dreamed that thoughts of me were her drug and love was the needle. So that when memories injected in vain and coursed through her cerebral, she would feel good and I could say that I was on her mind. But the highs always became the lows and utopia faded and that was the only time I remember my mom. I only ever remember her broken smile, faded dreams of love, goes to her soul. A love never trusted because the drugs would always get the best of us. So I say, that's it, mom. I'm leaving. And I'm going to take my little sister with me.